Good morning, class. Happy Wednesday. Hope you've had a chance to work on your grammar sentence already and that you're all set to start working with me now. Uh, I just wanted to point out that yesterday I put the number one sentence opener at the beginning of the sentence, but it actually belonged, the number one, on all three sentences in the corrections, okay? So I'm sorry I missed that, but all three of the sentences, because they all started with main clauses, should have the number one sentence opener, okay? So you can just like reach up and put those down quickly <laughs> if you'd like. Obviously it doesn't affect your rewrite though, okay? So now let's get to today's rewrite. So our definition is nettled, and nettled means irritated or provoked. So we know the stranger is not happy right now. Okay, and now let's get started. So it's the stranger's turn to talk right now. And because of that, we know that we have to invent. Okay, so you can start with that. And we'll start with him talking. So some nice little quotation marks. And it is a main clause. Okay, so MC, and we'll give that a happy little number one and capitalize that. And also I, of course. Okay. So this is where he finishes speaking. So that's also the end of our clause. And a comma needs to go there as well because he's finished speaking. Okay, and let's fill in our subject and verb. So subject is I and verb is no. Okay. So our next clause is also a main clause. And C replied the stranger sorely since he was still nettled about his thrashing. So replied the stranger sorely is the end of the clause. Okay. And our subject is stranger and our verb is replied. Okay. And since is a clause starter, which tells us, of course, that we're starting a clause. And because it's a clause starter, it's an AC. Okay, an adverb clause. So he was still nettled about his thrashing. Okay, so this is where the clause ends. And you'll notice that it kind of sounds funny, right? He was still nettled about his thrashing. If you handle your bows and arrows worse than handmade, your handmade staff, I won't. So now we can see that he's actually talking here. Okay. And we're actually going to put a period here because this is the end of his thought and that makes this a new sentence. Okay. So let's finish up this AC. Okay. He is the subject. Was is our first verb or our only verb. Sorry. Our verb. He was still nettled and about is a preposition. This is a preposition we haven't really seen. eh? So he was still nettled about his thrashing. Okay. And remember to put your period there. We're going to close that sentence which means we have a new sentence, new clause. And this is also an AC because if is a clause starter, okay? Which I'm gonna have to squish it, gives us a number five sentence opener. Sorry, that's a lot going on there. Okay, so we capitalized it and then you is the subject, handle is the verb. And now let's fill this in. The correct your is the Y-O-U-R. Your, bow and arrows, and of course, and is a coordinating conjunction. Worse, okay, the correct then is T-H-A-N. Worse than, and then the correct your is the same your as before. Your, Y-O-U-R. Worse than your handmade staff, I won't, okay. So our clause ends here, okay? And then I won't is a main clause. And we're gonna capitalize the I, and it's the subject, and then the verb is won't. Okay, and because we have an AC before an MC, we need a comma here after staff, okay? And we'll put a period after I won't, that's its own sentence, or the end of the sentence, sorry. But we notice that it tells us the stranger's not finished talking. So we have the beginning here, and then we have quotation marks here, but we're not going to close them yet, okay? 
So for your rewrite, make sure that you are indenting. Of course, this is a new line, new speaker who is speaking. Okay, and make sure we remember all the punctuation that we need and we will pick up his response tomorrow.